today with the attorney Mark Malore from the Malore Law Firm. He specializes in real estate. I'm going to throw him a lob pass in a second, let him sort of talk about what he does. And we have a great training for you. We're going to talk about some of the more pertinent, relevant issues uh, in the default world today, loan modifications, how the laws are changing, recourse, non-recourse, how to protect yourself and your clients. So first of all, I want to say thanks, Mark, for being here. Speaking of that, one of the things that are questions I get uh, as I'm training and dealing with the agents is with respect to loan mods. So I think it'd be a, a fitting question for you. A homeowner gets a loan modification um, offer, they agree to it, and uh, the loan is successfully modified. If it was a recourse, a non-recourse loan prior to the modification, meaning in California, according to the anti-deficiency, uh, statutes, whether if it's an original purchase money loan, primary residence, one to four units, or seller carry back financing. If it was non-recourse, does the fact that it was modified cause it to convert to a recourse style of loan? Uh, because I get that question, I have my opinion on it, but I think you being an, an attorney, you might be able to speak uh, a little more astutely about that. Sure, no, I appreciate the question. Um, and it's a great question because people are concerned, at least in California, about anti-deficiency protection, at least that's what we call it out here. Um, but also, just basically whether the note is recourse or not recourse, meaning can the lender come after them after the house is short sold or not? And so the answer to that question is, 